Hey y'all, it's Leslie and I'm back with another quick haul. This one's kind of a mixed haul. I've got um, a little bit of Walmart and a little bit of Dollar Tree. Uh, we went yesterday to Walmart just to pick up some odds and ends and of course I had to run through the Christmas section. I found these um, red trucks. I'm obsessed with the red trucks and it's not because it's the theme with everybody else. We are a farmhouse. We are, you know, the red truck family. So this is us. This is the country us. And so when you see all that stuff, that's what you see with us. So I found these little red trucks that were really cute. Some of the red truck stuff is not as cute to me. So I have to be a little selective with it. I also found this decorative monogram. They had some that were um, like a corrugated metal. And I liked those, but they didn't have a J, and, and I need a J. But um, this one's wood. I really like that. It's um, maybe a um, chipboard. It, it's very light. And so I thought I actually could even put this on uh, a journal or something if I wanted to. Uh, while I was there, I looked at their... Um, fabric remnants and they don't really have any remnants at my store but they do have some fat quarters and these fat quarters were a dollar each um so that's a quarter of a yard for a dollar and that's a little high in my opinion but i really needed some darker green fabric i have a garland that i made with fabric strips last year and i definitely want to kind of darken it up it was a little too light for my liking last year too much white fabric on there so I'm going to darken it up, which brings me to, yes, to the Dollar Tree visit. Dollar Tree, I went to get some ribbon, and I saw these. Um, these are in the white <laughs> colors, but I really like the ribbon because that'll add a different texture compared to just the fabric on my fabric garland. So that's what this project's going with. And then I thought, well, I could go ahead and get a couple of these, just, you know, Merry Christmas red ribbons, and that would be some good red to add to it as well. I got a couple of these fill fillable um, balls. I've got a couple of ideas for these, things that you've seen on Pinterest, but that I haven't done yet. I got a pack of washi tape, and this is what the pattern looks like. It's really actually pretty. Uh, you know, not the Dollar Tree washi tape hasn't been pretty before, but it's uh, more than just your stripe and patterns type geometrics that Dollar Tree normally has. Um, I got two packages of these red bells from Dollar Tree. Uh, I like these uh, for the color, and I'm thinking about putting them on my garland. I may or may not have it decided officially, but there's other projects that I can do with these as well. And then I got a pack of the darker green burlap uh, ribbon that they have. It's nine feet, so three yards for a dollar. I mean, you can't beat 33 cents a yard for ribbon and uh, burlap lace. They have a really, really cute lace. Uh, I'm doing a project for my grandson. Okay, he, yes, he's only six months old right now, but you know what? Eventually, he's going to be older. And I, as long as it takes me to get projects done, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, uh, let's see. Christmas will be 18 months since my daughter got married and Christmas, she will be getting her wedding album. See, that's how long it takes me to do a project. So I'm going to be making a Christmas mailbox stand on a post, you know, with the North Pole sign and, and I've got some, um, ideas for that and I wanted a good um, base so I wouldn't have to make it and that's really you know really simple I'm definitely going to um, do something with this this flag because I, I want him to be able to use the flag but this is just flimsy flopping and um, I kind of like the print on here I don't know if I'm gonna uh, change it very much it's got a little bit of a vintage feel but also you know cutesy for kids so I'm, I'm thinking I may leave that, but I'm definitely going to add a handle on the front. I've got a, I think I've got a little pull tab that I can add to it. Okay. Oh, uh, another thing that I got at Dollar Tree were a couple of these little, um, I don't know, do you call this wood? Press board signs. 
Um, this one is uh, the shape of a bell. Uh, okay, this is a ball, <laughs> as in a Christmas ball hanging. And this is the snowman. And, you know, it's got the look like it is wood, but it's not. It doesn't even have any grooves. But, um, you know, it's got this glitz on there, which is which is kind of cool, but I really love this top part. I just thought that was super cute. Then I look at these every year or, you know, every season that they come through. And if I can find one that's got a really nice shape, I get it because it can be used. Um, it, you know, these are, are good and, and, and sturdy, not necessarily outside, but I can um, do a mixed media project on them. And I really love the shape. I thought that was really neat. Okay. You know, I could sand this and paint over that. That's a thought. Um, but I'm not going to. I also got this scarf. It's got this kind of woodland creature theme. And I just really thought this was this was cute for um, winter and um, you know, not just the holidays, but, but through, throughout winter. It's thin, um, but, you know, I might find another use for it as well. I have several of these that I pick up because you can use them, well, just as I have, you know, here. You can use it as a tie on a journal. So, that's a possibility. I also got some stickers. These are um, 3D stickers that, um, whoa, there we go, that I got um, you know, for my grandson, and I know, six months, but eventually he'll want something, and Gammy will be ready, that's right, I am Gammy, so then I saw a video where a girl took, um, of course, you know, when we're, we're junk journalers, we will look for a really good color book, at Dollar Tree because, you know, they're hard to come by. And I really love this one, solid colors. Usually they just have the color for this section. And then this part will be either black or white. But um, I actually saw a girl and she did a technique to this. And so that's actually why I bought this book. The book was Radiance of Tomorrow, a novel by Ishmael B. Beha? Beha. Yeah, I'm not sure. He is um, from the, oh shoot, where did it say? He was from, oh, he's from, uh, well, shoot, the Sierra Leone area um, that was going through a lot of civil war and, and he came um, in 97, I believe is when he came um, to the U.S., and he wrote a national um, bestseller, A Long Way Gone. And I've heard a lot about that um, before, but I've never read it. Uh, but um, this is another book. And I found it at Dollar Tree, if you're interested in that. But I really, I'm excited to do this um, project for it. It's still probably going to be a junk journal. Most likely it will be a junk journal, because I'm excited about that. But I'm going to do that technique as well. Okay. And um, I have another haul, but you know what? That's eight minutes, and I'm going to be back with it because it is that special. And I will be back. Bye. See you soon. Make sure that you like and subscribe my, to my videos. <laughs> Bye.